As we reported, some states, including Florida and Texas, are setting records for new coronavirus cases. As a result, some of those states are scaling back on reopening. Cases here have flattened, but experts warn there is still a threat of a second wave. Earlier this morning, I spoke with critical care nurse Emily Allen, who's been on the front lines of the COVID fight for three months now. Take a look. And joining us right now, critical care nurse Emily Allen. Emily, it's been a few weeks. How are you doing? You've been on the COVID ward now for three months. It's going really well. You know, we all know our place. We all know how to do our job. We, we know how Bethesda works. And, you know, the team that I work with is just amazing. So I can't say enough. And we've seen a lower number of cases currently. So a lot of us have had time to rest and recharge, which has been awesome. How sick are the people that you're seeing, though? Because you deal, you've always dealt with, you're a critical care nurse, so you've always dealt with the sickest patients. Right. Um, actually, I was just thinking, this is almost my six-year anniversary of being a nurse. And Congratulations. The, thank you. These are the sickest people I've ever seen. Um, and I've said this before, and I'd like to say it again, that this does not target one specific age range. I've had people in their 30s pass away. Um, and I've had people in there, you know, 80s, 90s pass away, and it is very widespread. And it ha the disease, uh, the virus, excuse me, takes over so quickly, and it's very, very hard to manage. So, we've seen a huge surge in, in Minnesota in young people getting sick. Um, we have video of some young people dancing at a club in Uptown that we captured last night. What would you say to these? And these are people who are even younger than 30. They're in their, probably in their 20s. What do you say to them? I would honestly say that they're playing with fire. And I would be very, very careful because I have seen people with no, um, at least any underlying conditions that we know of, get very, very sick. They're young. They're in their 30s and pass away. Um, you know, we had a, a situation the last shift I worked where we had something like that happen and pass away, and it's absolutely devastating. I mean, what, what do you say? There's sort of a debate about wearing masks, not wearing masks. Obviously, masks are recommended in certain places in the city of Minneapolis. You have to wear a mask in public. What are your thoughts? I mean, when you go out in public, just out and about, do you wear a mask? Yeah, I mean, we, I mean, like I said, you're, we're kind of all just rolling the dice and playing with fire. Um, there's several studies out there that show that wearing a mask is more helpful. It not only protects um, you, but it also protects other people, you know. Um, so I, I am a supporter of wearing a mask out in public. I think it's a very smart idea. What advice do you have for parents with smaller children on protecting them from COVID? What do you do? Oh gosh, there's so many good little videos and things like that on YouTube um, about washing hands and how to do it the right way. You know, my kids will come up to me and say, yep, we have to wash our hands, mommy. We have to get those germs off. So teaching them that. Um, I know that's something we kind of struggled with with our kids too, was being scared of the people in masks. Um, my son especially is kind of a scaredy cat. So we explained oh, that. I, you know, I didn't even think of that. Of course, that, that yeah. would be scary for small children. Yeah. So we just talked about, you know, mommy wears a mask at work, daddy wears a mask at work, and that these are good people and that they're actually doing a good thing in protecting us. Um, a lot of the little, like, um, different cartoon channels that we, the kids watch too, I've seen a lot of, like, little ads or, um, you know, videos on there about how to wash your hands and be safe as well. So I think they've done a great job. Uh, do you ever have them in masks? The kids? When, when they'll keep them on. It's very, very difficult. My daughter does better try to keep the kids home and away from people as much as possible. That's the main thing that we try to do and obviously practice our social distancing. All right. Well, Emily Allen, thank you so much. We certainly appreciate your time you. as always. It was Take so care. good to catch up. Have a great day. You too. Thank you.